Continuing our look into technology and professional cycling, from the aero to the carbon, we turn our focus to the new specialised tarmac. In the build-up to what had to be considered one of the most hotly anticipated Tour de France in recent years, the Californian bike company who supply the bikes for three of the 18 world tour teams must have felt they're in a strong position to take glory in both the mountain and sprint stages. But with the departure of two of their big contenders, Contador and Cavendish, things were not looking good early in the Tour. It wasn't long, however, before the world cycling media turned their attention to one man, Vincenzo Nibali. Showing skill and commitment, he rode to victory, becoming only the sixth man ever to win all three Grand Tours. The master tactician and descender deservedly took yellow and never looked back. Specialised, meticulous approach and reputation for being hands-on in supporting their teams offered ample testing so that each of their riders could feel comfortable on their bike. And with the likes of Contador, Cavendish, Martin, Bonin and Nibali all in their portfolio, they have a vast array of skills and expertise to call upon when it comes to making the marginal gains. But not only do they have their teams and engineers, also partnerships outside of cycling, partners like McLaren. So the relationship goes back to around about the end of 2010. Um, McLaren's passionate about design and technology and applied technology works in a lot of different areas and medical and energy, but um, sports and consumer products is one of the areas we wanted to expand into and bikes were an obvious um, parallel to Formula One cars. The partnership has brought about a number of innovative designs over the last four years. More recently, their newest pro tour frame, the Tarmac. Our engineers work very closely with the riders to gather feedback, gain insights and, and constantly work on product improvements. And specifically to the tarmac, we've worked very closely with riders such as Alberto Contador and he's constantly giving us feedback. And some of the feedback that he had given us from the tarmac SL4 was that the bike felt in his size of 54 very harsh on the descents and a, a little too stiff in the front end or through uh, choppy corners or, or rough roads. And at the same time, we had riders, uh, larger riders, saying that they thought that the bike could use a little bit more snap to it, a little bit more uh, precise steering feeling, and that kind of uh, sparked this idea of rider first engineered and looking at the frames on a size-by-size -size basis. With the help of McLaren, Specialized have approached the design of their new bike differently than in the past. The thing about if you go out and record data um, on, on a road, um, you know, out on the streets or it's the data is really chaotic so we we tend to make sure that we collect very real very very relevant data and very accurate data and we build experiments to to do that but we also have um we have also have labs here that can reconstruct roads uh, on the bike so i think we've done work where we've actually replayed the vibrations of a road through the bike while the rider's actually on the bike and that allows us to actually engineers to stand around the bike for us to allow collect data and that's really how we work in a lot of automotive projects. What we learned with Rider First Engineering is that that scaling and difference across the size range needed to be much more drastic. It needed to be much more drastic than we had originally believed and so if you look at uh, the sizes now, like if you look at a 49 centimeter, the down tube on the bike is about 45 millimeters in diameter. When you get up to a 61 centimeter, it's about 65 millimeters in diameter. So there's a big difference in the tube shaping across the size range. This approach is new within the cycling industry. In celebration of this partnership, a limited edition version of the bike based on the 2014 tarmac was released. 10% lighter than its brother, its maiden voyage came at the biggest race of them all, the Tour de France. One frame was given to each specialized team for a selected rider to use. And one beneficiary of this was Tinkoff Saxo rider Nico Roach. I definitely love the way it, uh, it steers, you know, when, when you're on a descent, it's uh, super precise and uh, I'm really enjoying those uh, technical bits with it. I think, you know, behind the scenes, the, the teams have worked really, really well together to produce you know, these simulation models of, of bikes, so we've taken, you know, taken a world where bikes used to be designed subjectively into, you know, a world which is more familiar to Formula One, which is virtual design and that allows us to iterate much much faster and have a greater understanding of, of, um, you know, of, of the product that we're designing and I think that's the, one of the biggest successes really um, that the, the teams are actually most proud of. 